Loma Linda students aren't the only ones who benefit from our clinical expertise. Earlier this year, Loma Linda University Medical Center had the pleasure of hosting a very special group from Alexandria, Egypt. For the past 35 years, a group of dedicated healthcare professionals from Loma Linda University has treated patients with congenital heart disease through the Overseas Heart Surgery Program. I'm here for a training in pediatric cardiac surgery for six weeks in Loma Linda University uh, as a program for progressing uh, our center in Alexandria, Egypt in pediatric heart surgery. The, uh, the Egyptian team is here largely to uh, investigate how we deal with uh, babies and children with congenital heart disease and a, and a few adults. Uh, they are also, of course, keen to see what we do with adults, too, with acquired heart diseases of one sort or another. They've been extraordinarily responsive in being on the spot when, when they should be, uh, asking good questions as we go along. Uh, and so it, it makes it a really fine educational environment in both directions, for us and for them. Oh, this is a child who'd had previous open heart surgery for a complex lesion inside her heart uh, five years ago, and then uh, she has subsequently developed obstruction under her uh, uh, aortic valve, the valve that leads out of her heart to her body. So we had to uh, remove that fibrous obstruction uh, so that her left-sided pump could pump more easily and blood out to her body. Something called subaortic stenosis, and we did a subaortic resection. Thank you for asking. <laughs> we are today about a case of uh, subaortic stenosis. Okay, I'm working with Mr. Jerry. He's the best refugees here. I paid him for that. <laughs> <laughs> and what are, uh, what are you teaching? Uh, I'm not teaching him anything. He knows everything. He's a physician from Egypt, and he's an outstanding perfusionist. I've seen all his journals, so he's helping me today. <laughs> yeah, we're about to finish our, our case today, yes. Sir. It's good so far, it's good so far, so good. It's no problem to, uh, yet. We're warming the patient up now. The reason we were cold earlier was because the uh, heart was quiet. We wanted to slow the patient's metabolism down. And now we're in the process of warming the baby up. At this stage, uh, the heart is, is doing about half the work. The heart-lung machine is doing the other half. It all looks pretty good at this stage. Uh, the heart contractions are normal, the rhythm is normal, and uh, we're very close to when we can separate the child from the heart-lung machine. Well, it appears the little girl is doing well off the heart-lung machine, and uh, blood pressure is good, oxygen saturations are good. Everything looks like it's a go. Uh, we're just closing up her wound at the moment. Dr. Uh, Timon Azrov is finishing up the uh, final surgery. Drains are in place. They will uh, pull the drapes back and clean her up real good and then begin to wake her up. And she gets wake enough to protect her airway. They'll pull the airway tube out. Then uh, she'll probably be all over the place. <laughs> She's a little girl with a down syndrome. Very active. So we'll quickly try to get these little plastic tubes out of her so she's free, free to run down the hall and stuff like that. She'll be in the hospital overnight, perhaps even two nights, we'll see. And then she'll probably do better in her own bed at home. U.S. are highly advanced in medicine in general and especially in congenital heart surgery. And uh, people here is very nice and they have a lot of wishes to help other people. It's a great chance to have a good relation with a country like this. I think this is an extraordinary uh, moment in history actually. 
It is for Loma Linda, and it may be for Alexandria and Egypt, to have a group of individuals, all stellar in what they do, uh, come over and visit us and, um, and share and swap information together. Uh, but, but they've been an incredible resource uh, of information for us. Not only about surgery and everything, but just the socialization, understanding their culture a bit. They're a superb group. We're really blessed to have them here in Orlando. It'll be a memory, a nice memory for, for years to come. I couldn't imagine that when I, when I was in Egypt, that when I come here to the U.S., that I will find this, this hospitality. Um, I, I was astonished to actually, my, all my neighbors come to me and asking me, how, how are you? Are you from, where are you from? Oh, you're from Egypt. Oh, it's nice. And you're speaking to me. Something's so difficult. Uh, because we are in Egypt, we are thinking about America. It's very busy. A lot of people are interested only in their work, but actually it's completely different. Uh, I think that I have a great fun with people. Uh, so every, every day, uh, new people, new relations, new visits. This was great. Am I here okay? Ha, 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 ha.